Based on the support of the ARM Institute and partnered with the Raytheon Technology Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, we have developed an experimental setup with an ABB 6640 robot equipped with force torque sensor and roller. Deep rolling is a mechanical surface treatment process in which the workpiece surface is exposed to high local mechanical load using a spherical or cylindrical type of tool to induce work hardening and comprehensive residual stress. Deep rolling is usually conducted by a CNC machine. Industrial robots offer an attractive alternative to CNC machines. They are easier to program for complex geometries and may be implemented at lower cost. However, they are less stiff than the CNC machines, which compromises the force tracking performance. At Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, we developed a learning controller to improve the force tracking performance. Our gradient-based iterative learning control algorithm for motion and force trajectory tracking control does not require explicit model information. Instead, we feed the time-reversed force and motion tracking error profiles directly into the physical system to generate an approximate gradient descent direction. We compared three different approaches for robotic deep rolling. The open-loop position-based rolling uses only the robot position command. It works well for tracking a constant force on a flat surface, but there is no correction for force errors, and it is challenging to generalize to more complex geometries. The hybrid force position control uses force feedback to correct for force tracking errors, but there is a large delay when tracking a trapezoidal force profile. The iterative algorithm updates the robot motion command based on the force tracking error in each run. The force tracking accuracy improves through this iterative refinement process. We use ABB's High Fidelity Dynamic Simulator Robot Studio to tune the update parameters in the iterative algorithm. We've also extended from rolling on a flat sample to a curved sample with known geometry. We implemented a single input, single output control system where the motion control uses the robot controller and ILC addresses force control in the surface normal direction. This project is sponsored by the ARM Institute, partnered with the Raytheon Technology Research Center. Additional funding is provided by the New York State Empire State Development Corporation, Division of Science, Technology and Innovation, or NISTAR, and the Rensselaer Office of Research.